What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I have the newest MacBook Air here. This has the M1 processor. And if you've seen the M1 processor, you can game on this thing. Um, it has basically extreme, extreme crazy performance on here. And you might want to game. And I'm going to show you how to connect a PlayStation controller to this device. Now, this PlayStation, this is a controller for the PlayStation 4, but you could also use a controller for the new PlayStation as well. So if you have this one, it's gonna work the exact same way. So you can use the same steps. Now, if your controller is connected to a console already, you might have trouble with connecting it to another device, but you can still try these steps regardless. And if you do wanna use the controller with your, if you have any issues anyway, if you wanna control the, uh, set up the controller with your, your, your MacBook, and you're, again, you're having issues, um, then you know you can go just desync de it from your PlayStation. And this will also work with the Mac Mini and really any other MacBook or, or Apple device as well, what I'm gonna show you. So in order to get this into pairing mode, what you need to do is you need to uh, press and hold the, uh, home, the PlayStation button and the share button. So we're gonna press and hold those at the same time until this starts pulsating you'll see in a second after about three to five seconds and there you go it's in pairing mode now you can see it pulsating so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the bluetooth settings on the macbook so go into right here and then you see bluetooth on i'm going to hit the little arrow next to it and i'm going to go into bluetooth preferences and now it's going to find it i already found it so i'm just going to hit connect at this point and it's gonna automatically, so it's connected, I can use it and play games. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna have to go into the game potentially and uh, you know tell it that I have it and, I, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use the controller instead of like the screen, but I'll walk you through that right now. So we have it connected, I can close the Bluetooth window and then I'm gonna go into a game. All right, so here's Asphalt 9. I'm you know using this, as you can see, to go around the car to check it out and I'm going to play just to show you that this does work and you're able to play games on here. Not every game will be able to be uh, used with a controller, um, but some can. And I'm using the controller to just go through these menus here. And there it even tells you what everything does for the controller in case you're not sure. You got touch drive, you have your drift keys, um, nitro, all that stuff. All that is in here to show you how to play this game. So double press to perform a 360, all right. Okay. Hopefully I'll remember all this stuff. And we are off. The right joystick. Uh... So it's telling me how to drift. There we go. So it's these two buttons, or these three buttons actually. There we go, gonna drift a little bit, baby. Ooh, drift some more, get out of my way. And I like that this game obviously walks you through everything on how to use it. And this, this, lab, this MacBook's not gonna struggle with gaming at all here because it's going to be able to play all the uh, iPad games and all that stuff on here without struggling what, whatsoever. So you saw I've just breezed through that. So controllers do work. Very easy to set up. PlayStation 4 controller. And uh, if you want to pick one up, uh, just look down below. I'll link one that you can pick up. Works great. MacBook Air M1. Any of the M1s have to be the Mac Mini. Um, the, the, the Pros. All of them are going to work great with gaming especially because you got Apple Arcade in there as well. And I'll show you when you go into the App Store, you can go into Arcade, and there is a ton of arcade games in here that you can pay, I think it's $5 a month or something like that. Yep, unlimited access to 100 plus ad-free games that you can get access to. These are some of the most popular ones, and you can take advantage of gaming on your MacBook with a controller or just on the keys themselves. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.